Warriors were about eight minutes away from a happy flight. Wiggins is doing his thing early in the fourth quarter. Steph was rolling. Howard, however, give the Pelicans credit. He outscored the Warriors in the last 7.54. 27 and 13 to bring this one home and the Warriors will have to come back to the Bay Area with a split on this four game road trip as we welcome everybody to Warriors Post Game Live presented by Toyota Hall of Famer Chris Mullen, NBA champion former Warrior Darrell Wright and Bonte Hill and we're going to look at the crunch time plays right off the rip here. Tough, tough loss for the Golden State Warriors. They have their final six at home, but this is one that they really gave away here, Darrell. Yeah, it was a tough loss. Uh, you got to give a lot of credit to the New, or uh, New Orleans Pelicans. They played a great game, a, a, a great bounce back game. And Zoe Ball led this team tonight, but it was a tough loss, man. They, they needed a few more guys to pick it up on the offensive side and it just never happened tonight. Yeah, it seemed like the Warriors outplayed the Pelicans until the last five minutes where they made some big plays. They give them credit. They hung in there. They played well enough to win the game. Lonzo Ball yeah. had a tremendous bounce back game after really struggling last night. Great look uh, right here for Seth. Great Curry. shot. Yep. And, I, and I think the Warriors just, just fatigue set in. And, uh, you know, the, the young Pelicans, you got to give them credit as, as Bonte and Durell. As both you said, I thought this was an impressive win for them. Keeps them in the, in the playing hunt. Um, they didn't play great, but they made the play, plays they had to to win the game. We'll talk about Lonzo Ball a little bit later. 29 points tonight. Yesterday, he only had seven. It was three of 18 from the floor. But Steph Curry did make more history tonight as he's moving up the charts on the all-time three-point made list. He's now over 2,800. He's leaving Reggie Miller in his dust. He's now at 2,802. But Curry will want 2,803 because he had a great look there in the last 20 seconds. Curry, look, 37 points to 15 time in the last 17 games. Excuse me, 17 time in the last 19 games. Curry has scored at least 30 points, but he ran out of gas in this one at the Smoothie King Center, going one for his last 12, Darrell. Yeah, I thought they made it uh, pretty tough on him at the end. Uh, a lot of shots he missed or shots he makes, especially that good look he got at the end of the game. Uh, but got to give a lot of credit to the New Orleans Pelicans. They made the game ugly, and they found a way to win. Well, Steph had a great game. He had 37, as you mentioned, Bob. I thought he was fatigued at the end of the game. Once again, give the Pelicans their defense a little bit more credit. Uh, only two players in double figures. So it's almost like they, they almost let – not let him, but Steph was going to get his points. They locked down on everybody else. So the only two players in double figures were Steph and Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, and Andrew Wiggins did what he could do to try to help the Warriors get this victory and go 3-1 and one on this road trip. But Steph had the great looks, as you guys mentioned. He was off. He was on fire early on with 17 first quarter points. He got cooking in the third quarter. You would take those shots that he had tonight. But Steph, you see him run off the run through the tunnel there. He knows he had a great opportunity to send the Warriors home with the win. Great opportunity because he knows those are shots he normally make. And everybody in the building and everybody that was watching understand that. But him being that competitor, knowing those were big shots. I know he wants those back. They got the split, yep. which is acceptable. They, we, we talked about them getting greedy and getting both those games. They play well enough to win. But again, as Darrell said, those are shots that Steph Curry can make. Right. Not many players in the history <laughs> league can make them. Um, but again, I, I would give more credit. Um, I think the Pelicans won that game. No I think they made the plays at the end of the game. Uh, bounce back win. Uh, I thought they played Zion very well again yep. defensively. Uh, but I think the difference was Lonzo Ball. Wiggins did another great job on Brandon Ingram. No doubt. We're going to talk to Wiggins right now. Who am I to nitpick on Steph Curry? He just dropped 37 points. 37 points. But Andrew Wiggins here, uh, he was balling, especially in that fourth quarter. As you mentioned, Mully, he did it defensively. He did it offensively. As you see there, his fourth straight game with at least 20 points. Five triples in this game. And in the fourth quarter, Darrell, back-to-back -back nights, he really tried to carry the load early for the Warriors. Yeah, he understands when Steph goes to that bench, he has to pick up, pick it up on the offensive side. And that's what Wiggs been doing, man. You've seen him in the post. We've seen him knock down some threes. He just looks more and more comfortable as the season's going on. That fourth quarter started, he had back-to-back -back threes in that post-up. It looked like they really had control of the game. Um, so, so he had the 26 points, which is great, six rebounds. But once again, it's one-on-one -on -one defense yeah. on Brandon. Wow. Brandon Ingram's a big-time scorer. Yes. So on back-to-back -back nights, Ingram really struggled. Tonight, just 5 of 15. 
Uh, so so two-way wig showed up big time on this road trip. Two big-time block shots, two at yes. the rim. He was uh, contesting at the rim here. But as we look ahead here, now the Warriors can come home. And we've, it feels like we've been talking about this all during the second half of the season. The final six games at Chase Center, starting with two against Oklahoma City, who's playing your brother's team, the Sacramento Kings tonight. This is a time where the Warriors could really get on a roll before this playing tournament. Yeah, it's the end of the season. You always want to finish the season well. You always want to protect your home court. So I think the Warriors have been doing a great job of that. So two games, they sh I, I think they should win. So they got to come in, prepare. OKC has been playing teams very, very tough. So it's not going to be a, a cakewalk. You're going to have to go out there and beat them. But a great opportunity to put six games together at the end of the year. What we learned this year about this Warrior team, they cannot overlook anybody. Yep. They got six home games. I, I think four or five, four and two, five and one minimum. Yeah, and as you said, Molly, they can't overlook anybody because this team has been so up and down and they've lost games like this tonight all season long. But they're coming back home after their last road trip of the regular season.